I'm Scott from Weeznax. I'm here to talk to you about your irrigation system. Tell me everything I need to know about Absolutely. your wonderful immigration Absolutely. system. My name is Michael Box. I'm with the company Sustainable Village. We're out of Boulder, Colorado. We uh, design irrigation systems that are uh, highly efficient uh, and, and plant responsive. So uh, basically we use a lot of kind of standard drip irrigation components and then a handful of things that aren't used in other drip irrigation systems. This is called a blue mat. Uh, these things are made in Austria. Uh, and what they are is moisture sensing valves. So they're made in Austria. We import them here to the States and put them in our, our system to kind of make them the, the crux of the whole system. And really what they are is a moisture sensing valve. So these things, they, we open them up, fill them with water. So that's a solid water column inside. And we use, a, we pressurize a water system. So this line would be connected to a supply line that's pressurized all the way up to this point right here, 24 hours a day. And right underneath there is a little pinch valve. So this is buried in the soil, a ceramic tip. As the soil dries out, this tip dries out and creates a negative pressure inside the carrot. We call them carrots, colloquially. Uh, inside the carrot, which pulls against a little diaphragm, kind of pulls against a rubber diaphragm that opens this valve and allows water to flow through. So that can either drip right out into a pot or through a series of distribution drippers or um, an array of soaker hose, whatever. We can, we can do a lot of different things with it. But the main thing is, uh, you know, the valve is closed, the soil dries out, opens the valve, water flows through, rehydrates the soil, and then the, the cone rehydrates and closes the valve. So it takes like the guesswork out. It's going to do the job of moisturizing for you. It's going to tell you when you're in trouble. Bottom line, <laughs> yeah, bottom line is it's able to maintain a really static moisture level in the soil Consistent. consistently. <laughs> and we can do that from pot to pot to pot or raised beds. Or we can do it in native soil. Um, and they're, you know, they're really affordable and they're priced. What's point, the price point on these? They're about $7, something like oh, that. Oh, great. So yeah. you can run a huge operation or a small operation. That's like correct, this. yeah. Yeah, so we can do it in raised beds. Um, like we'll do big, you know, four by 120 foot raised beds and it'll only have maybe eight of these sensors in the whole thing. Or we can do, you know, one per pot um, and feed them into these dripper rings. Oh, cool. Like that, so, uh -huh. uh, to give kind of nice even distribution. We can do really crazy stuff where say you got 100 pots and you've got them all dialed in at the exact same moisture level. And we're able to verify all that stuff with uh, various tensiometers. So tensiometers are uh, devices that measure pressure, but uh, it, in this case, they measure the, the soil tension pressure. And it's a way to measure moisture levels in soil. So tensiometers are like kind of the agricultural industry standard for measuring soil moisture. And they'll either measure in centibars or, or millibars, which are units of pressure. They're like one bar is 15 PSI. It's like a metric thing. Um, anyway, so we can kind of get independent verification of the moisture levels. We can see that every pot in a, in a room, say we've got 100 pots. Right. Every pot in the room is sitting right at 100 millibars or 80 millibars, which are these, again, readings for the units of pressure. So we have every pot. If we want to change the moisture level in the soil, we can take an adjustable pressure reducer. So this is a pressure reducer. We can turn the dial on this and drop the pressure down. And if we drop the pressure down, that's going to dry out every pot in the whole room. You can cover the, the whole exact room. Same, yeah. Right. And all that, like we can follow. Let's see. I mean, and we can. I mean, we got it down to a, like a science where we have a chart. So we can, by changing the pressure, uh, <clears throat> by changing the pressure on the back end of the system, we can uniformly lower the moisture level or raise the moisture level on the soil consistently from every pot in the room no matter where they are, which is the really cool thing. Like if you have a bunch of pots that are near the air exhaust or the air intake, right. they're gonna dry out faster than the ones in the center. Big problem, or Maybe right? there's a hot spot in the room, those plants are gonna dry out faster. With this, that doesn't really matter because each pot has, its, or each container has its own moisture sensing valve in it to maintain that exact moisture level in that exact container. You know, if you're in a greenhouse where you have hot days, the plants are gonna use a lot more water. That doesn't matter. They'll get exactly the amount of water they need. On a cloudy day, less water. So it really differs, you know, from like a, a drip system with a timer. It's going to deliver the same amount of water every day, uh, you know, irrespective of any kind of environmental conditions. This takes into account all the microclimates of a particular space or the environmental conditions of the day. Before I ask you about other gadgets, because you have a few here, yeah. tell me about 
where do you deliver? If I'm like, if like I'm in wherever, I'm in Alabama, California, do you do all the states? Yeah, the we do. And we have like hundreds of commercial facilities throughout the US, Canada. Uh, we're based, like I said, based out of Colorado. What about places like Puerto Rico, Hawaii? Do you yeah, we there? have some big systems in Puerto Rico wow. too, and Hawaii, yeah. No problem, we ship to pretty much any country in the world. We have systems all over the, we just did a lot of big ones in Australia, actually. As a matter oh, of that's, that's huge, I know uh, Australia's getting big, that's yeah, great. Yeah, no, for sure. So, uh, Show yeah. us some more gadgets. <laughs> yeah, some more gadgets, a lot of the moisture meters. This device here, that's called an EraCloud. That is wired into one of these tensiometers, right? So this has a wire that would normally go right to that box and we can run several of the uh, meters into it. And that's got a SIM card in it that'll talk to a cloud so you can, on your phone or on a browser application, just look at charts and show the moisture levels in your soil. So I could be wherever. I could, could be, be way away from my... You could be in Puerto Rico and your grow could be back here in New Mexico. Check it on my phone. And you can just make sure the moisture levels are spot on. And they are, like, they, they'll be held very, very consistently with all Can these. I control it through my phone? With no, this? that's an independent observation point. So, so you have to have a person on point to, 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 in order to make the adjustment, but at least I'll know the information. If you needed to make an adjustment. But really, once you get these things dialed in and, and locked in, uh, I mean, they're ready to roll. You know, I mean, most growers, like for an outdoor crop, if you're doing big pots outdoors or something like that, you know, they'll dial them in in June. They don't touch their irrigation until they, you know, pull the stuff out in October when they're harvesting. Um, yeah, so we do some stuff for house plants too. That's kind of a neat little thing. But for you know the cannabis world, it's all these uh, the blue mats. What's the biggest facility you ran. The biggest facility we've done. Uh, I've, I've got one up in Michigan. It's 39 acres of outdoor. That's like you know that's 12,045 that, gallon pots. That's yeah, big operation. Yeah, that's a good one. What's the what's the average size operation you do? You know, here's the thing. We do. We really don't discriminate at all with people, so we do lots and lots of home growth. This, this, we can run these off of gravity. We don't need a pressurized system. We only need two PSI to make the systems work. So you can run it off a of gravity bucket and run your six plants at home. You know, that's kind of a bread and butter for us. It's just selling these little kits out the door of, uh, <clears throat> for home growers, and they love it because they, you know, they can leave their grow for a, a week or so and walk away and like, you know. Save their good marriage. marriage. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Who who yeah. who got all this started? Who's who's whose brainchild is this? So Blue Mat itself, uh, the Blue Mat brand, is from Austria. It's an Austrian company. There were some dudes in Austria in the 80s that came up with this. Uh, our company's called Sustainable Village, and we're the master distributors for the U.S. and Mexico. Uh, we distribute into Canada too. Um, the owner of this company is named Steve Troy, and he's kind of been in the like appropriate technology, sustainable living kind of world for like, honestly, he's like older dude. So he's been, it, he started, got started up in Garberville in Northern California in Humboldt County in uh, 1969. And he opened the first grow store up there back then. So we've had this Blue Mat brand as like one of our products. So, are they, for a so long time. are they original permaculture kind of cats? Yeah, yeah, we're all like, I'm, you know, everybody on our staff has their, their permaculture design certification Very and cool. all their whole design staff. Very too. cool. But we're really into that regenerative agriculture. We do locally up in Colorado, we do a lot of large scale uh, permaculture and, and regenerative ag installations. So like, you know, where we're, we're dealing, uh, some of those are actually in the hundreds of acres, but they're not drip irrigation right, based. Right. They're, we, we have other methods for irrigating. How do we find you? Are we looking for Blue Mat or are we looking for a sustainable village? I mean, we're, we're kind of one and the same, but Sustainable Village is our company. So sustainablevillage.com is the website. There's, you know, the other thing we do is we do free quotes and designs. So if you're getting a Blue Mat system and you're interested in it, you can go to sustainablevillage.com of the upper right corner. There is a request a quote button. You can hit that button and like, we'll, and we'll, we'll give you yeah, totally free, no, no obligation, whatever. Uh, drawing, parts list, price tag for the whole system, and then we supply. That's our business model. We do the design work, we supply the parts, and then give all the customer service and consulting to make sure it Man, that's functions. incredible. Yeah. You guys, you guys, one, you don't discriminate, so you're taking care of small time, yeah. big time, you're putting in all the work, you're helping them design their stuff, and then you're also looking inside and saying, I think this will work, I don't think this is gonna work. Yeah. Right, and so you're, you're you're basically outfitting them from the beginning to the end. Yeah, and our staff's got a ton of grow experience, so like we also you know do a lot of you know free consulting basically as you know with all of our clients. We we don't sell nutrients, we don't sell soil. We'll talk about it a little bit on the phone, but uh, 
Yeah, we just stick to irrigation, water. Stick to what you're great at. Yeah, that's what we. That's the only thing we wanted. That's the only thing we want to like really put our name on is irrigation. You said you're up there but in I will Boulder? do that any day of the week. Like I'll back up anything we do anytime. So you said you're up there in Boulder. Yeah, uh, yeah, Boulder, Colorado. But you guys are working all over the United States. That's right. Yeah. Right yeah, I, the majority like of our business is outside of Colorado. Very cool, man. Yeah. Awesome. Thank yeah. you so much for taking the time to talk with Weed Snacks. Thank yeah. you for educating the viewers. Yeah. And um, again, let them all know, how do they track you down? Yeah, so again, you can come to the website, but on Instagram is a really great place to find us. So the best account we have is uh, Blue Mat Watering Systems, B-L-U-M-A-T, Watering Systems, all one word. There's a ton of really cool content on there. Um, yeah, check that one out, and then also at Sustainable Village. We got a YouTube channel. There's a lot of instructional videos on there. Very cool. We're just launching a whole bunch of new videos. And man, I, I really like your guys' vibe. I like that you guys are really have your heart into it. Thanks, that's, man. That's missing out of a lot of business. So thank you for being about the people. Thank you very thank much. Thank you. Yeah, take care.